Hey all, I'm Chris Stiles from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am the visionary of the Cassidy Project, which is a non-traditional healing initiative for survivors of sexual and domestic abuse out of Cincinnati, Ohio. I was so honored to receive the invitation to come out to Sacramento to have an opportunity to march with everyone in California and from other states in an effort to get healing for all of these victims of power-based personal violence. So my contribution to you all is an opportunity to hear from some of the event goers here at the CSSJ ninth annual event, and I look forward to seeing you at one next year. Lisa, one of my Hi. Ohio sisters, I'm yes. loving it. OH. Yes, I O. Okay. <laughs> is this your first um, CSSJ event? This is my very first event. I'm so excited to be here. It's great to see the love and support that everyone is providing for each other. I'm excited for new advocacy work in Ohio. And I look forward for Ohio to host an event that's as great and as glamorous as this one. Yeah, so how, what has been your favorite part thus far? Oh, by far the people. The energy, the love, the support, just the the vibe that everybody is putting out, it's fantastic. And tonight, all the glamorous people showing up and all of their finery and all of their sparkle, it's fantastic to see all of us melanated folks popping tonight. Perfect. Oh, I love that. I love the way you said that, too. All right, so tonight there's going to be dinner and they're dancing, but tomorrow we're going to talk to the legislators. Absolutely. If you could say something, what would you say? Oh, it's time to listen. It's time to listen, it's time for change, and we know that when we speak, things happen, so so it's time for that. We're excited Ms. for California. Lisa, welcome to Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice, Survivor Speaks. Thank this you. is your first time here, right? Yes, it is my first time. How are you feeling about the event, being here with everyone else who's been affected by violence? You know what? Um, I'm wondering why I didn't come sooner, honestly, and because I was involved, I've been involved with the movement for quite some time now, and I guess I took a little break. Not a break, but I had to step back a little bit, and it was just too much going on with my husband's Alzheimer's and everything. But anyway, I work for the DA's office as a victim service rep, so to me it's really important to heal. So my healing, when my son was murdered back in 2000, I, I I was gone. I, I tried to kill myself. I was out of it. So I know pain, that kind of pain, is the worst pain to lose a child. And it's hard to put it in words all the time because people don't want to hear all that negativity. It's like hurtful. Well, your story matters, and I'm so I'm so glad that you're here to share now. Tomorrow we'll be talking to legislators. If there's something that you could say to them, what would you want to say? Uh, I think the root of uh, crime is to end poverty. So let's figure out how to end poverty, and then we can figure out how to end crime. I like that. That's really good, Miss Louisa. Well, I'm glad you're here, and hopefully you've enjoyed yourself this Thank weekend. You. I did. Thank All right. I, I am enjoying myself. Thank you. In the capital of sunny California, all the way from Chicago. Chicago. Chi Town. Yes, Chi Town. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yolanda, you look amazing, and your patches, all that. Oh, thank you, honey. It was amazing to be able to, you know, for a long time, I thought I was just so ugly because of the situation that happened to me. I lost my left eye due to domestic violence, uh, a fatal d domestic violence assault. And um, I didn't know what to do or how I was going to look, but I went through a lot of transformations, a lot of surgeries, 13 reconstructive surgeries. Uh, and I'm still having more to go. You see, I was even my own donor. Uh, they had to get the t tissues and the muscles out to reconstruct my face. Wow. But to God be the glory, I am yeah. here. My, I have a metal plate in my skull. But I, I still thank God, no matter what I go through, I still have motivation in my heart to help other victims and survivors to get to another level, to let them know that they are not alone and they do have options and they can get out of a situation. Instead of being a, a victim, they can be a a survivor yes. and also a thriver. Yes, and you are a true living testament, girl. You look good. Thank you. You look good. <laughs> Thank so, you. So <laughs> tomorrow um, we're doing the march and we're talking to legislators yes. um, all the way from Chicago. If you could say something to the legislators here in California, what would it be? Well, what would it be? It was that I know that um, a lot of we need. Um, we definitely need recovery. Uh, re, um, ref I mean, uh, victim 
what is it? Um, Victim services, trauma yeah, centers. A, right, a lot of trauma services. Uh, we need for them to listen. Um, also, like when the trauma happens, everybody is around you. But then after the trauma, right. you don't get any services, crickets. There's nobody to help you. I fell in that same, um, I fell victim of that. They give you this paperwork and then tell you to fill it out. And then there's no help or nothing. And then by the time you get it in, my, just remind you that my skull was crushed open. I didn't have nobody to help me to put paperwork together. So now I will had to lose everything. I don't have any money to uh, pay my bills. Mm -hmm. uh, it took a long time, two years to get disability. And Tell them to make just, it happen fast. Ab absolutely. Yes. So I, yes. right now I just want them to change the laws, how um, they the process goes. Mm -hmm. Give us more time. Yes, yes. You know. And the hope is that in, in California when things start happening and changing here, that it's going to trickle down to our, our states, to, to Illinois, to Ohio. So thank you, Ms. Yolanda. You look amazing. Thank Enjoy you. your dinner, and I will see you out there dancing tonight. Oh, yes, you will. All right. Okay. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome.